Hello friends, here is Shuli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to make Indian style super tasty, super delicious, easy and simple brinjal curry. You can see its texture. It's super delicious to eat and very easy to make. So let's see the recipe. Here for spices puree, I have taken some garlic cloves, some dry coconut and two tomatoes. And we have to blend them into a smooth puree. You can see that I have made a smooth puree. So let's keep it aside and see the brinjal. You can see friends, I have cut the brinjals. I haven't separated the stem part of the brinjal. You can see that. In the shown way, I have put two curds in one brinjal. And I have prepared all of the brinjals like this. You can see that and I have washed them properly after cutting so let's keep them aside and let's go to the pan let's add some cooking oil into the pan and let it heat a little and then we have to add the brinjals into the pan Now we have to add a little salt and fry the brinjals until uh, they are cooked up to 30 to 35 percent. So let's fry them and uh, the heat should be on medium. We have to fry for uh, about 5 to 6 minutes average. You can see friends the color is changed and uh, it is cooked up to 30 to 35 percent. So uh, let's take them out into a plate and we'll do the next processing, uh, I mean uh, the gravy processing in the same pan. So let's add uh, cooking oil into the pan for gravy. You can change the quantity of oil as per your taste, your choice. Now let the oil heat well and uh, we have to add half teaspoon of uh, cumin seeds. Let the cumin seeds crackle well and then we'll add a big size onion finely chopped. The cumin seeds are ready and uh, now we'll add a big size onion finely chopped. Let's mix a little and uh, we have to add uh, uh, salt as per taste here. We added uh, salt with the brinzels too. so. Uh, let's remind that and add salt as per uh, taste here. You can see friends the color of the onion is uh, brown now and now we have to add the spices puree here. Tomatoes, uh, dry coconut and garlic paste is here. And uh, I have added some water washing the mixer jar because we don't want to waste the spices. So now stir a little and uh, now we have to add some powder spices. So at first I am adding a little uh, turmeric powder, 1 4 teaspoon turmeric powder and uh, red chili powder as per taste and now I am adding uh, 1 teaspoon full of uh, kanda lasun masala and now 1 4 teaspoon of garam masala. If you have no kanda lasun masala then skip it. In that case, you have to add 1 teaspoon of garam masala. Mix the spices properly and now let's cover the pan and cook until uh, oil is released from the spices. You can see friends, oil is released from the spices and the spices mix is not yet too much dry. So now we have to add the brinjals here. We have to add the brinjals here, mix the brinjals with the spices properly and then we have to cover for 2 to 3 minutes on the lowest heat. So I have mixed them properly and now I am covering them on low heat. After 2 to 3 minutes, you can see friends, more oil is released from the spices and the spices mix is drier than before you can see it now uh, we have to mix it properly and now we have to uh, add water for gravy 
add hot water here if possible but uh, I actually forgot to heat water previously so I am adding a uh, normal water and uh, I am not telling you uh, the quantity of water because uh, it's of your choice if you want a thicker gravy then uh, add a little water and if you want a thinner gravy then add a little more water so I have added water as per my choice mix it properly and now I am covering it after some time you can see that uh, it is boiling well and now we have to flip the brinjals this way so that they can be cooked evenly from the both sides but uh, the brinjals is floating and so uh, they are turning round and round automatically so we have to cover the pan and uh, cook them uh, until they are cooked 100% after 10 to 12 minutes you can see friends now uh, brinjals are cooked fully and the gravy consistency you can see is perfect it's not so much thin and uh, not so much thick so we don't have to add anything to make the gravy thicker but I am adding 2 tablespoons of roasted peanut powder to uh, make the gravy thicker and its taste is so much better in this curry. It is so much delicious to eat so I am adding it but uh, it is not necessary you can skip it but I have added it because I love the taste of roasted peanut powder. We have to check the brinjals if they are cooked 100% we have to make it sure so I am checking it. It is cooked 100%. It should be cooked up to the stem part very well and this is the way they are very nice to eat. Our curry is ready now and uh, you can add some fresh coriander leaves if available. Uh, I don't have them so I am skipping them. So now finally our curry is ready and uh, now we have to turn the heat off. And after turning the heat off we will cover the curry for 5 to 10 minutes and after that we will serve it. So friends after 5 to 10 minutes you can see the texture of the curry it is super delicious to look at and super delicious to eat of course so let's serve it friends it is very delicious to eat with uh, cooked rice uh, roti chapati paratha you can serve it with anything and it is so much delicious to eat with everything. So uh, the recipe is also simple so try the recipe at home and don't forget to let me know your experience about the recipe. Please hit the like button if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to meet you in the next video. Bye bye.